Hey guys, so there's a new feature when it comes to customizing the menu inside of High Level. And I wanted to take this opportunity to show you around all the things that we can do uh, using the tools from the toolkit to customize that menu. So first off, you'll notice that the menu looks very different from a normal High Level menu. Now, uh, there are two things that we can do or two tools that are used for this. First off, you have the theme builder. And the theme builder, of course, lets you sort of pick your themes and customize them even further using, you know, these different things. And that's a whole different video. But one of the things that you can do in there is you can rename and hide the menu items. So here on the, the left-hand menu here, you can find the menu item that you want to change and simply uh, rename the text that you want right there. So as an example here, we have your contacts instead of contacts. And if you look under here under contacts, it says your contacts. You know, you can also hide it from everyone or hide it just from certain people. So that's the first idea. And this is global and there's no ability to, um, obviously do it on a per location basis, but also to rebuild the menu. But so this is, but it's a good basic, easy thing to do. So that's the first aspect. The second aspect is actually rebuilding and adding these extra menu items in here. I personally think that having the menus up here, this is our test where we were changing all the menu items, having it set up so that you can visualize and see the menu items as you go through here, as you just hover, is essential for user interface. So the way that is done is through the customizer. So this is the customizer inside of the toolkit. It's located over here. Um, there's a lot to go over in this, but we're just going to talk about custom menus today. So in regards to custom menus, uh, you'll see you've got a global location menu, and then you've got all these other locations here in our example account. And the idea is that you can have different sets of menus for different locations. Um, and they can either inherit the global location, meaning they can add to them, or it can just be its own thing. So like uh, Ingo, I think we have it set so that he, we could make it so that he only gets the, uh, his own menu items, like he gets the native menu items from my level. So we could just have it set like that, or we could have it add on. Anyway, so the cool thing that would just came out today though, is um, before when you went to, wanted to build out one of these menus, you'll see how we have sites, funnels, websites, memberships, forms, surveys. You had to manually do that. So like you would have had to go to him and say folder, sites, uh, add a link, and we'll place it at the bottom, and then you would have to find sites, add this in, and then you'd have to build out each one of these things. And, you know, we do have it in sequence, so we could say websites, like so, and you could build it out like that. But what's even, what's so cool today is now what you can do is you can be like, okay, so let's do conversations. So let's say, so the sequence here is you say conversations, Add a link when folder is clicked. It's going to conversations. And then you say add entire folder. And so now what this will do, and I'm going to put this at the top here. What this will do is it automatically just builds out all those menu items. And then if we take a look at it and say the next one's calendars, right? So we say calendars. Make sure it's not putting it under a folder, actually. I keep clicking the add child instead of add menu. So I'm going to click add menu, put it in that main folder so it's not there, right? So we'd say, uh, I think it was contacts was the other one. And then you say uh, folder uh, top and then add a link. And then you would say contacts again and add entire folder. And boom, it just adds in. There it is right there. And so a couple other things to note, you can rearrange the sequence of these things. So 
if we want to have, whoops, that was weird. Okay, so if you want to have conversations above contacts, you can do that. Um, if you, like you can drag these things around. I think we need to make it a little bit more, um, like you can't put a folder inside because I think if you, right now, if you take contacts, you can drag it in right here, then it becomes its own thing. So we'll, we'll fix that. But anyway, so, so that's the idea back and forth right there. You, you put those back and forth. Um, and the cool thing is that you can now just have it pre-populate like that. So now you can have these nice drop down menus without having to worry about, you know, building them all out. Right. So, and uh, so anyway, I think that's pretty awesome. And um, there's a few other cool things that are in, in here. I'll show you real quick. So like you can actually have permissions. So you can say like only uh, only agency admins get access to this menu item, right? So this could be a iframe that you're opening up. And so only the agency admins get access to that report. Or you want to lock down automations, right? So uh, over here, like I think we have this set up for these guys, right? So um, their automations is only available to agency admins because we're going to set up the automations, but we don't want the users to have access to them. Um, so that's a cool thing. And then I knew there was something I was forgetting. So the thing is, if you're replacing a menu item like calendars or sites and it's a native menu item and you just want to do it inside of uh, the customizer, you have to go also into the menu edits. You'll see up here menu edits right here or menu edits right here. And what you want to do is you want to hide these menu items that you're replacing. So you'll see we're replacing calendars, we're replacing sites. Um, so we've hidden all the folders that we are replacing because obviously these are not the native menu items from high level. So um, this calendar right here is this custom menu item and it's not um, it's not the native one. So there you go. Uh, I hope that helps. Um, I'm sure it's going to raise a whole bunch of other questions, but hit me up. I'll try and do other videos for my other questions. Thanks.